Uh, but today we are going to be unboxing this Tokyo treat box that I just got in the mail. Now this thing is pretty loaded. It has, I think like 16 to 17 things inside, uh, including like a specific Japanese drink um, and a bunch of Japanese snacks. Um, I'm excited. This is the first one I've ever gotten like this. Um, I don't know really know what to expect. There is a list inside and I'll kind of just follow that and go from there. Uh, if I mispronounce any of the names, I apologize. Uh, uh, but I do appreciate uh, you guys tuning in. So let's uh, let's get into it. Let's see. All right. So yeah, you can see the box top down, pretty big uh, compared to my like hand. It's it's it still it still leaves a lot of room there. Let's see. Boom. Oh, that's freaking huge, man. There's so much in here. Now the drink in here, I know for a fact it would be better cold. But, uh, due to the, I just want to keep the integrity of the box and just keep everything in here. And uh, it comes with this like pamphlet, which has uh, the kind of like the list of everything that's in January's box uh, for the new year. So uh, the drink is Fanta Peach Premium. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that and uh, and seeing what that is. And, and these Kit Kats are weird. So let's uh let's start off with I guess this that's at the very top. We have the Stand By Me Japan, looks like potato chips, what are they? Let's see. So, uh, Koikea Pride Potato, uh, Duramon Seaweed Salt Chips. Okay. Oh, they smell, they smell pretty. They smell like seaweed. <laughs> seaweed and salt. Let's see. What up? What up, you boy? Wait. Oh, oh shit! Here. Oh shit! These are pretty good. Okay. Out of ten, um, that, mm, maybe like an eight out of ten. An eight out of ten, yeah, for sure. New Year's lucky, bubbly, Kayaki? dude. If I mispronounce any of this, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, oh geez. Okay. So it looks like this cool fish. I think I've had something like this, but it had ice cream in it. Uh, this one had, um, the one that I had had like mochi and like red bean paste. Now this one is supposed to be, it's chocolate filled. Oh shit, this is about to be delicious. Holy shit. It's a wafer cookie with like chocolate filling. Oh shit, that's delicious. Look at that. It's just all chocolate in there. Dude, that's so oh shit, that's so good. Holy crap. Hmm. Okay. Dude, that's okay. This is a straight up 10 out of 10. You can't mess that up. That's so that's so good. I wonder if they sell these around here. Oh geez, I just spilled all over my desk. Alright, let's try these next. This packaging is fucking adorable. Now, I can't read any Japanese. Um, all I can see is a Saku Saku. And then where it says cheese. I'm assuming this is like a cheese snack. Uh, oh, Ahi cheese. Because um, to celebrate the year of the ox. Okay, it's a little hard to open. All right, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. They smell a little weird, but... That's pretty, uh, it's just like a crisp. Not too much flavor on these. These are... They're good. You guys ever have like those Quaker rice cakes? They kind of remind me of those. That's, that's almost exactly what they remind me of. Like those Quaker rice cakes. Definitely not something I'd like go crazy for. It's a nice, like, light snack for sure. Maybe like a four, four to ten, four to ten. Now let's see this. This looks like it's gonna be fish flavored and I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like eating fish, but fish flavoring on stuff is a little weird. Now, I don't think I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I think this one, the name right here is Tiare. Uh, these fish-shaped Japanese country bites crackers. Now, are they just crackers? They're not flavored or anything? I don't think so. Tiare. Mm, they don't smell like anything, so I, I don't think they're fish flavored. Are they like? Oh, I think they're like Cheetos. 
It is. It's kind of. Yeah. Okay, they're a little sweet. They have a flavor of something. But I don't know. They have a glaze on them. Not bad. They're good. These I think I like better than those cheese puffs we just had. Between like these and these right here. These I think I like more. These ones I would give. I mean, they're not too much better, but I think I'd give them like a 5 out of 10. It's like a 50%. Not bad, but I'm going to share these <laughs> with my, my nephew and my sister and my brother-in-law. All right, then we have this little package. Um, might be from the same company because it's got the same symbol on there, but it's got this little fisherman on a turtle. Um, dude, the art's pretty sick on these. Now, these I don't see. Okay, salty turtle crackers. So, okay, let's see. Now, what does that mean? I oh, those ones opened so nicely. Holy shit. Oh, these are... Wait, what? They're shaped like turtle shells? I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're pretty... That's cool. All right, let's see. Ooh, these are good. Oh, I could eat these. Salty Turtle is a good bar name. Actually, actually, pretty good bar name. Wait, these are really good. You guys you guys ever had Chex Mix? And you guys know, like, the, the soy, like, wheat circles? I, I don't know what they are. But it, it tastes like that. Oh my god, these are really good. I'm, not, I'm, pro I'm probably going to keep these to myself. Dude, these are amazing. Alright. 8.5 out of 10. 8.5. Even though I like them so much, 8.5 out of 10 for sure. Oh, this is adorable packaging. Pandaro. Alright, so Pandaro, what is this? Cochi Panda Shape Cookies. Perfect for a moment of me time. That's what it says. It's a perfect for me time. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, not too hard to open. It kind of opens like Pokemon cards a little bit. Um, I think this broke on the shipping. I think it's supposed to be one cookie that's shaped like a panda because it's all broken up but they're pieces. Oh, that kind of makes me sad. All right, it just looks like a sugar cookie. Oh, there's like a hint of like coconut and vanilla in these. Wait a minute, this is, this is really good. Look at the packaging. Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, Now let's try this, this packaging. Um, I don't know if I had this upside down or not. Uh, Okonomi Arare. Um, now these seem just like, um, like crisp, like a Cheeto puff, but with nothing on them. Uh, where are these at? They are, um, the only thing, description on here is that they're light and crunchy Japanese crackers. Um, they're addictive and hard to stop munching once you stop. Nah. Uh, <laughs> Oh wait, hard to stop munching once you stop doesn't make any sense. Um, well, sorry, once you start. I said that wrong. Um, yeah, this is a... Uh, like a rice cracker? Uh, oh, but that's great. The flavor on that is really good. I don't know what to describe that as. It's not... With the fish on it, you'd expect it to be some kind of fishy, but... It's a little salty, but... Okay, so there's different there's different textures. The one that I just ate is a little bit like harder and yellow. That one's it's really good. This one's really good too. Eight out of ten. Dude, eight out of ten guys. This is really good. Um definitely recommend it. Uh let's try this next one right here. They uh let's see. This is cool. This looks like some kind of so this artwork is awesome, and I've seen like the way people make mochi. And it looks like they're doing that. It looks like they're like uh, hammering the rice in. Uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, oh, it's Mochi Taro. Oh my God. This is going to be really, I have high hopes for this one. I have high hopes for this one. Let's see. Okay. It looks like a, like a puffy pastry kind of type thing. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, it's a fried mochi snack. That's awesome. Let's see. Oh, dude. That's really good. Another, I want, maybe, 
eight out of ten. Yeah, eight out of ten for sure. These I don't, these look like pretzel sticks. Por Poraki. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this name. Por Poriki, I think. Poriki, I believe it's pronounced. I don't know. It's got this. Um, oh, I think it's a food dog, right? Like a dragon. Uh, -da 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 -da. Where is this? This is from Okinawa with their specialty brown sugar uh, crunchy pretzels, pretzel sticks. So it is pretzels. Oh, whoa. They're covered in something. I just expected like a plain pretzel stick. Reminds me a bit of, of Pocky. Dude. Whoa, this is really good. This has like, this hits you with brown sugar. That is amazing. Holy shit. Wow. I'm, I just finished that whole stick. All right. That's good. Dude, 8.5 out of 10. See, I guess this is next on top. Oh, this is adorable, but I can't read a single word on here. But the, the information booklet says this is mini monster fruity soft candy, which just looks like sour strip if you guys have ever had those um i feel like i know what this is gonna taste like but who knows i might be surprised there was probably a better way to open that probably a better way to open that because that just that just tore it apart oh, comes apart they're like strips all right well i don't need to eat the whole thing oh wow this is really good uh tastes almost exactly like what i thought it did but I guess this portion that I grabbed is like orange and lemon. You can't go wrong with this. Nine, nine out of 10. Um, okay, let's do these little stuff first and then we'll get to the cooler stuff. Um, now all I can read on this is cola. <laughs> it's cola. Oh yeah, so it just says sour cola gummy. Um, I imagine this is gonna taste exactly what I think it's gonna taste like. I This is just one piece, so I'm just gonna eat this whole thing. Oh, oh, uh, this is the first one that's not hitting. This one's not hitting. Nope, that one, oh, definitely like a three out of 10. This is adorable. It looks like some kind of flan. Uh, yeah, that looks like flan. If you guys have ever seen that, this is adorable. It's got little bunnies on it. Um, oh, it's got one of these forbidden snacks in there. <laughs> the, for the forbidden snacks, y'all. You cannot. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh dude. Whoa. It's as soft as hell. Holy shit. It's so soft. Whoa. Chewy mochi textured. Oh. Oh, it's filled. It's got some stuff inside of it, but what does it have? <laughs> It tastes like a Japanese version of a peep. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have had peeps before. If you, at least if you're here in the U.S., I don't know if they're anywhere else, but <laughs> gross. He <laughs> said, "Throw it away." No, dude. The, this one was gross. The cola one was gross. This one's pretty good. That cream custard in the middle is—it's really fucking trash. Oh, uh, we're gonna eat it. That shit was soft as hell, though. Like a maybe like a, a five out of ten. It's like a halfway point. And that one's gotta be like you either like it or you you like it or you don't. And I'm not a big fan of peeps. Okay, and this one I can't. Okay, the only thing I can read on here is burger gummy. If you guys see this, I don't know if I want to open this one, just because I feel like I know what this is gonna taste like. We have these here in the states. This is this one isn't too different. But I'll, I'll eat one of the pieces. Oh, this is hard. This is really hard. That was actually kind of flavorless. I want to give this like a... Like a four? Like a four out of ten? So this is like, I feel like it's something like a Pocky. Uh, but it's called Fran. Oh, there you Oh, shit. Uh, that comes packaged like a pre-roll, y'all. Oh, that's a thick boy. That's a thick boy. And why the fuck is that chocolate so oh my god this is amazing dude can i buy these here in the states these ones dude this is a solid 10 10 out of 10. i'm really excited about these so everyone knows everyone knows japan has kit kats and like a crazy amount of kit kats now the only thing i could read on this packaging is the word kit kat like that's it that's it 
does yeah it's just kit kat now let's see these kit kats now let me read you what they are so this is a kit kat hot spring dumplings do i know what that means no uh, so it says the cream mixed with a Zuki red bean paste. Okay, so it's red bean paste sandwich, crispy wafer, and wrapped in the manju steamed dumpling flavored chocolate. All right, let's let's crack these bad boys open. But I'm not, like, how do you guys have you guys ever had red bean like as as a sweet? Um, so a lot of like Asian snacks will have them in there, and I don't mind it. It's pretty good. That opened really weird. So I tore from the top, and it ripped from the middle. <laughs> All right, now these are individually wrapped. Um, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. All right, now should I eat this like a monster? Have you guys ever eat, seen someone eat this where they like, well, they won't snap it, they'll like bite it like a bar? Like what kind of, what monsters are those? Like, all right, here we go. This is melting really fast. This is really good. Holy shit. Um. 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. Now these ones, this is the ones I was talking about. This right here is a special collab. Um, so this is a brand of its own. It's called Koala's March, but X Pokemon. They're 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 co-branded with Pokemon, and this is a cheesecake flavor. Um, so you guys can see, and it's got that's a picture of what it looks like on the inside. Oh, this is adorable. It's got like a a chikorita on it. It's kind of it's kind of drawn funny. But that's adorable. Are there any other shapes? Yeah, I think everyone has like a different Pokemon down here. Oh uh, yeah, I'll hop in there a little bit after this. Yeah, this one's Pikachu. That's a Pikachu's drawn really well. They said fuck Chikorita. That's rude. <laughs> that's rude. Let's see. Dude, that's really good. Dude, that's really, really good. Holy shit. That's really good. 10, 10 out of 10. Holy shit. If you guys like cheesecake, <laughs> this is amazing. This is a phantom, a phantom, Fanta premium peach. Uh, it's 13% peach juice and white peach puree. I'm, I'm actually excited for this. I know this would be better if cold, but I literally just got the box in today. Now, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll probably pop this in the fridge. Oh shit. Oh shit. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Oh dude. Oh dude. Oh dude. Dude. They need to bring this to the States. What? Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, I recommend this. This was only like $33. Um, shipping was a little bit more because I chose like really fast shipping. It was like 20 bucks, but they have like standard shipping as well. That's not too much more. Um, it's, it's a monthly subscription box, treats and a drink from Tokyo. And they're pretty good. Uh, I definitely recommend this. That was Tokyo Treat. 10 out of 10 recommend everyone trying this out. Good shit, everybody. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. That was amazing. I loved everything. Everything was really good. That Fanta was amazing. 